Hey guys, it's Table here and in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to download an NES emulator on your new Nintendo 3DS XL. So to start off the video, you're going to already need to have homebrew or custom firmware installed on your Nintendo device. Once you have custom firmware or homebrew, you're going to want to go ahead and go to the link in my description which will lead you to my website. Once you're on my website, you're going to want to go ahead and click on the Nintendo 3DS videos tab in the top right corner which will lead you to this page. You'll see the video you're watching now and a download link for the emulator once you click on the download link for the emulator it should download automatically and once you have the folder you're going to want to go ahead and drag it onto your desktop once you have the folder you're going to extract it if necessary if not you're going to open it up and you'll see five files you really only need to worry about the .3dsx file if you have homebrew or the .cia file if you have custom firmware so once you have those two files out of the folder you could throw everything else away so you're gonna want to go ahead and open up your nintendo 3ds sd card and once you open it up you'll either see a 3ds folder or you'll need to create one once you create one uh you're gonna put the dot 3ds x file into that folder and you're done with getting the emulator onto your nintendo 3ds now to get games that's a whole different thing and i can make a video if you guys would like but uh, you'll just need to create a NES games folder into onto the root of your SD card which is where you would need to put all your games uh, but yeah and for the .cia version of the emulator you would just create a CIA folder on the root of your SD card and put this folder in there and once you have that you would just use the FBI app on your Nintendo device to download the CIA version of the emulator and open it through the main menu instead of the homebrew launcher. So you'll just be able to open up the emulator through the homebrew launcher whether that is subwords or any other application you use to homebrew your device. Uh, make sure to subscribe and like if you guys have any questions. Oh guys also I actually do have my 3ds SD card on my computer uh, so I'll just go ahead and show you guys to further elaborate on how uh, the games would look like on your I guess SD card so you would open up your SD card and this would be the root of your SD card and as you can see my NES games folder is right here and these are all the games and this would be this would be it guys you would just uh put your games in here and just open up the emulator through the homebrew launcher or through the main menu yeah okay so that's the end of the video uh make sure to comment down below if you guys have any questions uh i'll see you guys in the next video peace out